Hi, everybody. Just before we get into the uh, some information that's come out recently on the Canadian housing market, I uh, just want to remind you that uh, Stock Story is for entertainment and education purposes. I'm not a financial advisor, so I'm not suggesting that you do anything that I talk about in the videos unless you have done your own due diligence and made that decision on your own. Uh, please do your due diligence before investing. Just looking outside of uh, downtown Vancouver, uh, recent news makes me wonder if the uh, high price of real estate in, in the city is, uh, is possibly nearing an end. Uh, I see some things that uh, uh, in the news just recently that remind me of the subprime Hi crisis. there, it's Doug here. I haven't been on the YouTube for quite a while. I uh, had some surgery, but uh, I hope to start posting regularly again. Um, I'm just wondering if anybody else has seen, uh, up here in Canada, I saw a news story yesterday where uh, Bank of Montreal is actually um, uh, bundling mortgages and selling them. It sounds very similar to the mortgage-backed securities that the states did just before their subprime crash. Now, I, I don't know much about the securities. I don't know if any of you are out there have actually uh, seen any of these products yet. Uh, my thing is, is if it's anything like the Americans did, um, there started to be more and more of the higher risk bonds uh, that were added underneath the AAA uh, mortgages. And because of that, uh, they became high risk uh, products or mortgage backed securities that they were selling to their clients. Um, it always worries me at the point when banks are now taking some of their loan risk and putting them into products and selling it to consumers. It makes me wonder just how much risk there is out there. Anyways, uh, would love to hear your comments about this or any other information people have. It makes me a little bit nervous about the Canadian economy, especially uh, considering we have a high debt to GDP ratio and we have a housing bubble going. It just makes me a little bit nervous to see banks starting to uh, move the risk from their balance sheet into their actual clients. This is your basic mortgage bond. All right, the originals were simple. They were just thousands of AAA mortgages bundled together guaranteed by the U.S. government. The modern ones are different. They're private, and they're made up of layers of tranches. The highest level AAA is getting paid first. The lowest rated B is getting paid last, taking on defaults first. Now, obviously, if you're buying Bs, you can make more money, but they're a little risky. Sometimes they fail. Chris? Somewhere along the line, these B's and double B's went from a little risky to dog shit. Where's the trash? I'm talking rock bottom FICO scores. No income verification. Adjustable rates. Dog shit. Zero. Double B's. Zero. Triple B's. Zero. And then that happens. What is that? So I'm not saying that Bank of Montreal necessarily has uh, the same situation that's outlined in the big short that you just saw, but um, I do uh, want to say that it just is something to consider uh, when banks start taking risk off their balance sheet and selling it to the consumer. Anyways, love to see your comments or your insights into this. Thank you.